sunshine, a lot of us will be uh, firing up that grill and cooking with the family and friends this weekend. Chef Elliot from Buffalo Wings and Rings is here to walk us through the perfect burger. And I got to tell you, Chef, I love a good burger and it smells really good in here right now. Well, so you have to give us some tips. Absolutely. First of all, <laughs> thanks for having us. No um, problem. So you know what? You got to start with good meat, right? Right, right? That's the first thing. What we use at Buffalo Wings is we use a fresh blend of chuck and brisket. Oh, okay. And you, in better markets now, you can get these kind of things, and they're always used fresh, never frozen, and you always want to patty them yourselves. Okay. Now, my grandmother mm -hmm. used to just smush it together with her hands. Do you want to get it that mince, finely minced you, up to no, make it tender? To, to, no offense to your grandma. I hope she's not watching. <laughs> I don't want to hear from her later. But what you uh, don't want to do is overwork the meat. Okay, you don't it makes want to it do a little, that. gives it a little bit more of that chew okay. that you're actually not looking for. You want something that just tender melts in your mouth. Season so you form it just until it's pressed. Okay. And three-eighth inch thick is about where I like to go. Season in before you grill or after, wait that's after. what I've been told to me it's too. topical cooking okay so tell me what else you need to do well one of the things just a little quick trick is um, what we like to do uh, is just take a thumb and go right in the center and people go well why would you do that well what ends up happening is is when you press fresh meat and it starts to shrink and the juices and the moisture yeah, come out yeah. they start to buckle and they okay. get kind of thick in the center okay this keeps them level ah. so you have an evenly cooked sandwich faster cooking sandwich and, it's and, just and then you don't eating. have to take the spatula and press it, which right. is what and some you, people do. Right, and again, I hope I'm not offending any family members <laughs> at this point. But again, you don't smash burgers, you just cook them. Okay, and then toppings. Let's talk about toppings. Well, You've got mushrooms. Yeah, what we did on this one, this is new for us. We just rolled out this fresh packed uh, burger at, at Buffalo Wings. Okay. So what I did in this case was I, you know, I did this one in a skillet. Okay. We normally do it at a grill at work, but we take it. And I placed it on top of a little, uh, it's called a garlic aioli sauce. It's okay. a garlic mayonnaise, lemon, that kind of concoction. The cheeses, it's a little Asiago, Parmesan, ah, Romano. Nice. Also, by the way, we season the burger with garlic salt. That okay. seems to be something that we've really kind of warmed up to a lot. Okay. Um, and at this point in time, I've taken portobello mushrooms. You'll throw okay. that on top. Yeah, I like do it. Do you this, toast the bun? Uh, Some people say you have we to do, do that. You do. Um, okay. uh, I didn't bring my toaster with okay. me, but in, for this dem demonstration purposes, uh, we did not. But butter toasting is the way to go. Awesome. Well, it looks delicious. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to have a bite of that and check it out later. Okay. <laughs> if you don't mind. We it's can all yours, and I brought more for the crew. Awesome.